Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is AKA Educator underscore curls here, also known as Nia. And today we are diving into cleansing your natural hair. Um, first of all, I wanna dive in and just name, I'm in a whole new environment. I moved uh, two weekends ago, a weekend ago, last weekend. Um, and I moved into a new studio downtown um, in like kind of our arts district of the city and I'm loving it so far um, a lot. One, because uh, this year has just been really stressful um, and kind of solidifying or like getting smaller, making it more minimal. The space that I have in my home area helps me to, helps my brain to organize a little bit better. Um, and I'm in the process of starting a three year plan to buy a house. So uh, we are in the process of getting rid of some debt and rolling out some of that stuff, um, paying off some things so that I can purchase a home um, in the next three years, or at the end of three years, so summer of 2024. So that's kind of why I moved back into a studio and all that jazz. So you're gonna see this environment for a while. Um, new space, I'm still getting the lighting together because it's kind of weird in this apartment, but um, we are working on it, all right? so. Let's get into the real point of this video. So today I wanted to talk about cleansing your natural hair and I'm gonna show you the three things that I use um, off and on with cleansing your hair, but I first wanna talk about why it's so important to cleanse your natural hair. First of all, um, as you are applying product, no matter if they are water-based, shea-based, cocoa butter-based, whatever they are, um, those products, as you are adding them into your hair, build up on your scalp over time. Um, and so one of the things that is really, really important to hair growth and retention is having a clean scalp um, and being able to, so that the hair follicles can grow and can stimulate and grow. Um, so if your scalp is constantly really dirty and you are not cleansing um, and cleaning your hair, it becomes very difficult for the root of your scalp, right? That root of your hair strand in your scalp to grow. Um, and so it's really, really important when you're talking about buildup. Um, you do not need to use harsh products to remove them. And I'm going to talk a little bit about that in a second. Um, but you do need to be able to remove the dirt and buildup from multiple products, from natural environment, from air, fall, um, air uh, molecules, everything, um, pollutants, everything out of your hair um, weekly. Okay. Um, and so we're going to talk a little bit about that. Some people shampoo weekly, um, some people cleanse their hair weekly, some are bi-weekly, some are once a month. You need to do what's best for your hair. For me, I prefer to do it weekly. I do shampoo my hair weekly. Um, and I actually co-wash on, on an almost day-to-day -day basis um, because I like my hair or I style my hair often wet and that's what works for me. Um, and so it's really, really important that you find a cleanser that works for you. Now there are a whole bunch of different cleansers. There are cleansers with sulfates, there are cleansers without sulfates. Um, and I think your use of that depends on what kind of products you use. I don't use any silicone based products, so I don't use cleansers with sulfates to be able to strip and remove that. Um, I use sulfate free shampoos, um, or a sulfate free cleansing conditioner. All right. So I'm going to show you two shampoos that I've been using right now and I use them off and on, which means I switch. I'll go one weekend with these and one week, one weekend with this one. Um, so the first is the Mish Peaches and Cream Moisturizing and Cleansing Shampoo. It looks like this. It's one of my favorite shampoos. It smells really, really good. This does not strip my hair down and it does not make my hair feel like straw, but it really does cleanse the hair and the scalp. Um, and that is what I really, really enjoy about that. The next one is the Mish Cleansed Moisturizing and Cleansing Sulfate Free Shampoo made with hibiscus and ginseng. Um, and this one is my favorite. This is the one that I use like year round. This was a seasonal product and so I don't actually know if I'll be able to purchase this again, but this bad boy I love. Um, I again use this to cleanse my hair. This is the cleansing product that I use. Um, it's packed with botanical extracts with hibiscus and ginseng that stimulate circulation to the scalp and offer a gentle exfoliation of hair follicles for healthy hair and scalp. It's great for all hair types, including color treated and damaged hair. Um, and the ingredients in this are really, really nice. Distilled water, um, sulfonate, betaine, um, isotones, glycerin, guar, citric acid, um, Salix alba extract, hibiscus, ginseng, and yerba. 
Um, and so I think like your belief. And so this is one of my favorites. It's all natural, all organic, does not have nasty, nasty ingredients. It's really, really good um, for removing the buildup on my scalp. Um, so these are the shampoos that I use once a week. One of these, once a week. The next kind of cleanser that I like to use is a cleansing conditioner or a co-wash. This is the As I Am Coconut Co-wash. If you've been on YouTube anywhere, this is a fan favorite. Um, it is basically a conditioner that has cleansing agents in it. Um, and again, this does not have sulfates at all, and it has some of those cleansing ingredients within it, which allows um, my hair to be cleansed on a weekly basis if I need to. So it effectively cleanses hair and scalp without sulfates and harsh detergents. It hydrates dry hair for more vibrant manageable natural coils and curls. Um, and that is so, so true about this product in particular. I absolutely love this. It's a cleansing cream conditioner and it's fabulous. Um, and this is what I will use Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, um, throughout the week and Sunday because I shampoo on Saturday. So um, everyone has a different thing for them. For me, it's really, really important that my scalp is clean. I work out a lot. Um, I wear my hair and apply product every day. And so it's really, really important that I am cleansing my hair ongoingly. And because I use this in the week, and then I follow up with this at the end of the week, my hair stays pretty clean. I've seen a lot of growth in the last year. If you guys can remember, if you aren't familiar, or if you are familiar, about a year and a half ago, I was completely shaved <laughs> all the way around. Um, underneath, uh, we're going on two years almost because I, I would have stopped shaving my hair in April of 2020. Yep, April of 2020. Um, when the world shut down and schools closed I and everything closed, I never went back to the barber shop to keep my hair shaved. So I just grew it out from there. Um, as you can see, it has grown a crap ton, and I really do attribute that to my scalp routine, my hair routine, my scalp cleansing routine, my deep conditioning routine, all of those things, but really having a cleansed scalp is super, super important. So I wanted to make sure I talked about this today, and I wanted to give you just some options to consider um, a cleansing conditioner through the week if you're going to do a midweek wet and wash, um, and then a shampoo at the end of the week or bi-weekly, whatever kind of your routine is for your hair and scalp is super, super important. So that's all I wanted to talk to you guys about today. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, um, get the word out. I'm super, super loving doing this channel and really, really enjoying some of the natural hair pieces of this, uh, the channel and, and just being able to collaborate with other people. And so, um, I'm willing to dive more into other topics if you guys want to hear about them. So please share them, leave comments, like, um, it just lets me know what content you're enjoying and what content you're not and what content you want to see more. So thank you so much for tuning in and have a blessed Saturday. Bye guys.